Howdy, 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 y'all. This is a viewer request video. This is coming to us from Matthew Murray, who is asking what my top five favorite jaw harps for beginners are. We're gonna start off with an honorable mention. I've got five-ish harps here that I like to start people out on and that I like to play myself. The first one, this is going to be an honorable mention. This is going to be a Dan Moy. There is, I have not been able to find any lower cost of a harp that yields a higher sensitivity or an easier harp to play. The Dan Moy is a, comes in bass, mid range and high. Also, this is a double tongue bass. It's a piece of flat brass that's been rolled over and then it has a tongue or this one in particular has two tongues to it. It's pressed up against the lips and you can get them for very, very affordable prices. <laughs> They're capable of really complex breathing patterns, open, closed, melodics. I mix some percusses in there. There's a ton you can do with a Dan Moy. I recommend them to beginners, but I recommend them with a warning, especially if you're going to be starting a young child off on a Dan Moy. They are actually very, very sharp. You don't want to give this to a kid who's too young, who doesn't know that they have to respect sharp objects because this is something that's designed to go in the mouth. And I have ran one of these into my finger, probably a quarter of an inch. It doesn't feel very good. It wouldn't be nice if you had a kid chewing on one fish hooked into his tongue. So keep that in mind. That's why this is an honorable mention. If teenager or above wants to start out on the harp, easy, cheap, very sensitive, a lot of bang for the buck. I would highly recommend Dan Moy, but you have to, whoever you, whoever buys this instrument has to keep in mind, Dan Moy are sharp and can be dangerous. All right, we're going to start off on these top five. My first one is the easiest of all these instruments to play, the most flexible and the most affordable. This is a Vanjirak Drumba or Drimba. It's made in Ukraine. Uh, Master Vanjirak just passed away last June. I was sorry to hear about that, but his son is resuming the making of these instruments. Now, these are not really super loud, super sensitive harps. These are really easy to play harps that are actually capable of complex melodies. They're, they have a really short, really short embouchure area, but they are easy to play. At the festival I start at the festival, the bluegrass festival, I started a lot of people off on these. And they don't require a, a ton of precision. They now they're not very loud. <laughs> So for intimate situations where it's just you playing in your room where there's not a lot of noise um, and you don't have to project over a ton of people talking, Van Drag Drimba are really fun to play, really easy to play, and they don't cost much. Super easy for the beginner to start off on, and my melodics teacher actually loves these harps because they can get really complex melodies out of them because there's almost no saturation involved. But to the trade-off that we don't have a ton of volume. The next one on my list, or I'm just going to lump all three of these together because they're very similar are the Glazerin beginner harps. You have a Glazerin Lighthouse, which is the bassier version. You have a Glazerin Wave and a Glazerin Compass. They're all three the same price, and there's a lot of bang for buck involved in them. One thing to note is that these are going to be harps that are gonna have a little bit steeper of a learning curve because they are gapped really tightly, but the trade-off you get is later on you have a lot more sensitivity and a lot more saturation, a lot more volume to work with than some of the other harps. Starting off in this, one harp we're calling, we're lumping all three of them together because they're similar. This is the Lighthouse, is the bassy version. Really responsive to breath. I was doing open close melodics on that, pulsating my breath really fun to play. Some of them do play a little bit less stable, which in the future I'll have a video that will show you a remedy for that. This is the Glazerin Wave. We're going from the mid-range bass more up into the mid-range. <laughs> Very sharp, very piercing. We're crossing over into the mid range. Then we have the compass. Uh, 
And of the three, I think the compass is the easiest to play, easiest to start off for beginners. The wave's going to be a little bit more loud, a little more piece, piercing into the mid-range. And the lighthouse, a little bit deeper, a little bit more breathy, a little bit of that dripping in saturation. The next ones on my list are, these are from Hungary. These are a Szilagyi, and I always mispronounce uh, the Szilagyi name. Um, I believe that's correct pronunciation. Szilagyi. Szilagyi. Chancellor. I bought this. This was my first real harp I bought. The first harp I bought when I started out was a uh, Hobby Lobby mouth harp. It was absolutely horrible. And then Mark Poss, my friend from mouthmusic.com, got me started on this one here. This is, I highly recommend the Szilagyi Chancellor. They come in tuned and untuned. This one was tuned originally. It's now an untuned Chancellor. Um, really... Really loud, really sensitive, really crackly, and easy to play as well. I have wailed on this harp and I, I yeah, I've taken this harp all over. I this is this was my first real harp and it beginner to intermediate as the Glazerin especially we're crossing from beginner to intermediate. This Salaji Chancellor as well, we're going from beginner to intermediate. So there's gonna be a little bit steeper of a learning curve, nice flexible tongue with a ton of bounce, ton of crackle, ton of saturation. I like starting um, people off on saturated harps first because saturated content in a harp is the most recognizable. It's the easiest to work with for a beginner because they can wrap their heads around it. Melodic nature is the open closed melodics are a little bit less, they're less apparent to beginners at first. I, I love this harp. Excellent. I uh, got it from Mark Poss at mouthmusic.com. Good friend of mine. Uh, he got me started into real harps and he, he's a heck of a good guy. Um, my top beginner harp is really super easy. I started at the Bluegrass Festival. I started a lot of people out on these harps and they're not what I call a beginner harp, but they're easily started from a beginner because they don't require a ton of precision in their plucking. These are Gorka tailless and I play these. I don't, I'm, I don't view myself as a beginner anymore. Um, I view myself as a little bit more advanced of a player, but I play these harps of all these harps. I play these harps the most often because I can get complex melodic nature off. I'm going to get complex breathing patterns. They really shine. Um, they're not overly saturated, so they really shine for percussives, for beatboxing, stuff like that. And these are hand forged. These are the only ones here that are hand forged. These are from India. And they're around the same price as the Salaji Chancellor. Uh, and I play them all the time. They're my they're my favorite pick for a beginner harp. But they're, they're, they're a harp you can grow into really complex things. And one of them I've got here is a little bit higher. I think it falls near an F. This one's a little bit lower. Not a lot of saturation, not a lot of crackle. But I like that in my melodic content. I'm just going to throw this one through the paces. And this is one um, I can wail on this harp as loud as I want. And it's not going to wake the baby up because it's not super loud. Like the Glazerin and the Szilagyi harp is a, is a pretty loud harp. These are medium volume. <laughs> And I absolutely love and stand behind these harps. Very, very nice for beginners because they don't require, they, they require almost no precision in their plucking because they're gap size, but you can get into really complex breathing patterns and rhythms and the melodic nature can shine through because you don't, you're not contending with that saturation. This is another, and every Gorka Talus, they're handmade, every Gorka Talus is going to vary in its sound and its timbre. Here's another one. These are the two that I kept for my personal collection. So each one's going to be unique. Oh, <laughs> 
And we'll just, oh, I got another Gorka tail is sitting over here. We'll just see what it sounds like. This random Gorka tail is. Because each one is different. I would say the only downside for a beginner starting off on the Gorka tail is some of them are crossing over a little bit into more Chang uh, stiffness, but they are my favorite. Hey, my son, my son's pitching a fit. Yeah, they are my favorite beginner harps. Um, I put them kind of in my order of preference and each, each harp is capable of different things. Some are more saturated and loud and just dripping like the lighthouse is just dripping with saturation. Glass are going to be more, more techno based. Uh, the Vandrak Drumba, Drimba are going to be softer, more melodic. The Salaji Chancellor, more hillbilly. Really, Salaji really, really delves into breathing patterns, and the Gorka are going to be softer, melodic nature with. I would say percussives that shine through. And anyways, I'm rambling. I'm a rambling dude. It's Saturday morning. I'm caffeinated. These are my top five favorite picks for harps for a beginner. I'm not saying they're the best in the world. They're the best harps in the world. They are the ones that I start beginners on the most often. Anyways, I love y'all. Be sure to keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled. And oh yeah, you can find like the Salaji Chancellor on mouthmusic.com. You can find all these other ones on theharpery.com or if some of these aren't yet up on the harpery.com website, shoot me a message at bebcorp1 at gmail.com, which is, there's my email, or at the harpery on Facebook. I'll get you a harp in the mail. I love y'all. Keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oiled. Harp out. <laughs> Oh, yeah.